I am in front of uh, my local Pele's shoe store and it's kind of shocked that it's actually closing down. I mean, I've been coming here, you know, for a few years and yeah, to pick up some casual shoes, you know, uh, nothing too expensive and actually they have wild, wild shoes, you know, because my feet kind of wide and, you know, where other places don't carry them, but, you know, kind of sad. I mean, they, you know, their, their prices are really reasonable and to see them going out of business is really questioning how, you know, put into perspective how weak the economy is, you know, and we have to be mindful, you know, why, you know, and, you know, these small stores are, you know, they, they hire young people or, you know, folks to work and I guess they're going to lose job or they have to relocate. I don't know how many stores they're closing down, but uh, folks, you know, you, you, we have to be prepared for this. I, I believe the economy is shrinking because if you look at the number, and and how the government is is handling the economy and everything else while people may think you know you know it's great the economy is going strong it definitely is good for the billionaires the corporations you know the wall street because they get pretty much tax break and i would say socially subsidized from the government but the rest of us getting cut and most of our money going to the wars to the defense industry industry con contractors and things like that in trillions and look at the math and you know i have to agree with uh andrew yang the candidate for president he's right that that the you know the lower class uh most people need some sort of uh bailout or boost to really get on track and start you know start small businesses and get education and things like that so at least you know that one one thousand dollar will be a good uh should i say um uh, what's the term he using you know the the dividend to the people so that will help a little bit to get them started maybe go to college and you know uh, can get a used car and things like that or can uh, you know afford to, to stay in the house or whatever so uh, it, it's very challenging time right now with the high debt student loans all of that so this is a reflection a little bit I don't know you know I know that stores have been closing many many stores because you know they're relying on middle class to to shop there and <laughs> if all the money and uh, the subsidy of course they're attacking socialists all of that but the the, the billionaires are enjoying their, their socialist uh, money you can look at other videos and it's true they got tax break they uh, they pretty much controlling the government and make policies for their own interests so so the rest of the people are kind of rigged just like Trump said, but but you know I don't know. We need something like a yellow vest to really uh, start the revolution, peaceful revolution, all over the world. I like to start something. I call it like a free people international that actually promoting peace, prosperity, unity, and you know and, and create a systems that will give us a lot of freedom, not the current system that that actually. Uh, uh, the money go to the, the top and they use that, that money to control and buy out everybody they buy out politicians you know um, media everything because you know I understand that we need to make money but I think we have to make a stand uh, which direction we're going so hopefully uh, we can do something better very soon especially with climate we'll see you see you folks later and hang in there and uh, make Make real changes, okay? Organize and make real changes and, and be informed of what's going on. Not the fake news. <laughs> Stay away from the fake news on social, uh, on um, mainstream media, you know. I mean, you can watch them, but you have to also go on the internet like YouTube and follow other people like Noam Chomsky, Chris Hedges, uh, many, many, you know, uh, Tosi, uh, Bernie Sanders, you know, uh, and all of those guys. Uh, anyway, we'll talk to you folks later. Bye for now. Well, I'm in a store, actually. It is uh, 
40% off, the rest are like 50% off. Actually just spoke to one of the employees and they say all Payless stores are closed. I guess bankruptcy or something like that. Wow, that is terrible news. I don't know what, what went wrong or mismanagement or they say that it could be that um, competition from online shoe seller. Well, it is pretty bad. Right now, I really believe that online competition is uh, very fierce. So I think for uh, brick and mortar stores, they're gonna have to do both, and they're gonna have to compete, and you know, they they might have to cut expenses. Probably cannot open at as many stores as they can gonna be challenging you know look at how Amazon is uh, dominating the online space and that's the direction it is the direction <laughs> I mean actually I'm doing online business myself and you know I mean the, the big advantages that allow me to compete with others and, and cutting my costs so yeah they they have to I think the business now have to do both and probably have to make sure that their online uh, is competitive enough. You know, it is, yeah, that, that's a changing game.